Hey, you guys. Let me make sure I'm not muted. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Turn my phone down because once it comes on, it's going to be blaring. Hey, 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 everyone. So, welcome back. So, we're going to talk about Teen Mom and how the producers of the show is trying to do anything in their power to save the show. Um, they are uh, consolidating some of the shows. They're coming up with new ideas for the same cast to do different shows. They are literally calling for people to come back, but they fired. So, we're going to talk about it. Hello, hello, <laughs> Bell and Peace, Bell and Peace. Y'all, I, I, honestly, there was something that I was thinking of the other day. I was like, we should literally, what was it? I had this idea of something along the lines of, it has something to do with everybody changing their names. But I can't remember. If, if I remember between now and then, uh, now on the end of the video, I'll let you guys know. So, there's this creator out there that's, that's literally making another creator's life miserable because this other creator, years ago... You know, I'm not even going to go into it. Anyways, this creator is getting what she deserves because now the other creator has changed the channel name to Felon on the Web. Um, honestly, that's what we have to do to take our power back. When someone really goes hard at us for something, just embrace it yourself. Talk about it yourself. Don't let it be an issue. Take your power back. I know that's not why most of you guys clicked on this video, but Felon P's coming in the chat just made me think about it. Anyways, hey, you guys. Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about Teen Mom. Um, the show, when it started, it was literally, it, it was so successful. It garnered millions and millions of viewers. It's what, it was one of MTV's most successful shows. But throughout the years, it's lost a lot of its viewership. Um, and this is just my opinion. Covering the show, covering... Um, the characters from the show, if you will, characters, the people from the show. I've literally seen people say, I quit watching after um, Amber Portwood was arrested and they didn't fire her. I quit watching after XYZ. I quit watching after this, after that. So they've lost so many viewers. The show is no longer successful. They are barely even making the money to produce the show anymore. Like by the time you hire the crew, the crew gets sent out to location, stay in hotels or Airbnbs, and then pay the cast and everything. They're not making any money anymore. So, like I said, they are trying to do anything in their power to save the show and make something similarly successful. Something along the same lines, if you will. So, um, the producers, they have merged Team Mom OG and Team Mom Two. They've merged those two shows. They've put the cast together. Now we know that Chelsea, she is no longer on the show. Kale quit as well. Mackenzie McKee was fired. Uh, Farrah Abraham was fired. But all the rest of the cast from Team Mom 2 and Team Mom OG, they were consolidated into one show. And it's like Team Mom, the next chapter, something along those lines. They also have the family reunion that they're doing. They have the first season that we've watched. The second season is coming out soon. They have Team Mom YMP. And recently, we saw Kayla Sessler posted a, a photo on her Instagram of her and the YMP girls with Janelle Eason's mom, Barbara, and Farrah Abraham's mom, Deborah. And it kind of threw people into uh, confusion, like, what's going on here? Why is Barbara and Deborah with the YMP girls filming? In California for it was like for like a reunion or something so then we found out that Deborah and Barbara was brought back they will be in a few episodes if it airs it hasn't got the green light to air but what they're doing with the YMP girls and Barbara and Deborah they are filming and if it gets the green light I think they said there will be uh, about six to eight episodes of that show but it's something along the lines to do with the YMP girls now for the um, show that they filmed, I think it was over the summer, which was the family reunion, if I'm not mistaken. Production called Kale, and she said that on a recent IG Live. She said they did call me. They asked me to come back, and I said no. They also called Chelsea and asked her to come back, and she said no. Also, it appears that they called Ryan Edwards, you guys. You guys? Um, yeah, 
it appears that they called Ryan Edwards as well. Now, yes, Janelle, there's been some speculation, some talk. We don't know what the truth is when it comes to Janelle. I'm hearing a few different stories. So, from what I'm hearing when it comes to Janelle, she went to Brianna's uh, party. You guys know that when Brianna wore her, uh, wore, I cannot talk right now. When Brianna won her defamation lawsuit, it was dismissed. Uh, Kel Lowry filed a lawsuit against Brianna for defamation. It was dismissed, and Brianna had this big party where she celebrated, and she invited Janelle. Well, it was filmed. MTV was there, and Janelle did have to sign a release to be on the show, and she was on the show. I don't know if we're actually going to see her that much um, when it airs, but she was, in fact, filmed. For the show now what I've heard is that this was kind of a test right to see how we take Janelle coming back so they let her be at the party and they filmed her a little bit to see what our response is if the response is accepting of it and that we're happy about it they may bring her back if the audience is mad about it and they don't like it it's cut off right then there's talk that Janelle did meet up with Larry and um, Morgan. Larry and Morgan, when she was in Orlando, to talk about possibly coming back. And they told her, obviously, if they bring her back, uh, Barbara will be back as well, the kids. But one person they would not film and they would not work with was David Eason. But all of it is allegedly depending upon how we respond to her return at Brianna's birth, uh, Brianna's uh, defamation, I won bash. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Now, um, where did it go? Mackenzie, she went live on her Instagram and she told her viewers that, or her, fo her followers, that they called Ryan. So I'm going to show you guys what she had to say. This is just a little clip that I found on Reddit. I found it somewhere else, but I could not remember where that was. So I had to go look for it again, and I was lucky enough to find it on Reddit where she went live on her Instagram talking about what happened. So let's listen. You know, they said they did their little spiel about, um, I'm sorry. Let me back it. Let me back it up. He told them, you know, they said they did their little spiel about, um, I'm sorry, so sorry that. Things went down the way that they did. Your story was left untold. You, um, you know, they don't get to see the other side, the viewers, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And Ryan heard him out for a second and basically said, I don't want anything of what you were selling. I don't have time for that. Sorry. It feels so good. To be able to stand up to a network like that and say, go screw yourself. Leave me out of it. Because at this point, what good would that do for any money? We both work. And our jobs told us. So, she said they did call Ryan, asking him to come back. Basically saying your story was left untold. The viewers didn't get to hear the other side. They are MTV, whoever does this, whoever deals with like the cast and makes these calls and does the firing. They are literally like the weakest of the week. Like they don't call and say, listen, we really need you. We would like for you to come back. We, we messed up. Can you come back? No, they call and they're like, your story was left untold. It wasn't fair. They didn't get to hear the other side, knowing they don't feel that way. They're just desperate, and they want them to come back. That's what it is. Ryan was able to see that, and he's like, yeah, no, I, I don't want nothing to do with it. Now, she said, she went on to say that they both have nine-to-five jobs, and their bosses both told them, like, if you guys go back to filming, we're, we're not going to have you as employees. Obviously, you know, if they worked at a regular nine-to-five job and they're filming, it could have a negative impact on their business so obviously um <laughs> you're like what um so yeah 
So she basically said that Ryan told them no, that they didn't need it, they didn't want it, and I'm not shocked. I, I kind of believe it because they called Chelsea back, they called um, Kale back, they called Barbara and Deborah, and they even filmed Janelle at Brianna's birthday bash. They are doing everything that they can to get the views that they once had. And like I said, you know, a part of me thinks, I've, I've read the comments where people say, I left because of Amber, I left because of Farrah, I left because of Janelle, I left after this, I left after that. But I've also read the comments where people say, you know, the only interesting person on there that brought the drama was this person. And they're not there anymore, so I don't watch. So, I really don't know. The show is pretty boring now. Like, I have a hard time keeping up with it, I'm not going to lie. Um, usually the only time I watch is if something literally happens. If I read, like this happened last week on Teen Mom, and then I'm like, oh, let me go watch it. You know, because it is difficult to keep up with now because it's just not a lot going on. I think they're just trying to find the right remedy to make the views that they used to and they never will again. Times have changed. Exactly. Honestly, I think they might could, could, um, could have a another popular show about teen pregnancy but it has to be nothing to do with this one not even the same name maybe i don't know like you know how like unexpected is kind of similar and unexpected does pretty good um i mean maybe they could do 16 and pregnant and all new girls and just start from scratch again maybe with new families because their lifestyle has gotten so far away from what the show was supposed to be about most women that got pregnant at 16 and 17, they don't make $500,000 a year. They're not living in big mansions, uh, running their own businesses. You know what I'm saying? That's not the reality for a lot of young girls that got pregnant, or mid-30 girls or however old we are, that got pregnant at that age. Back in the day, we didn't have much option for reality TV. Now, that's true as well. That is very true. Reality television was a, a pretty new thing at that time where there wasn't a lot of reality television. I mean, I'm not going to lie. When it first came on, it was such a hit. I loved it. Like, I didn't want to miss a week of it. And when it when it went off and it showed the clip for the next week, I'm like, oh, I can't wait. You know what I'm saying? It was so like, oh, I can't wait. Nowadays, there's so much reality television out there, and it's just boring. There's just not a lot to it. It really isn't. Um so, I, I don't know. I think the only way that they might could could bring something back is if they start all the way back over 16 and pregnant. Just be done with the teen mom. Let it go out with a little bit of dignity. I mean, their views are bad. They're bad. Um, if they continue, 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 they're just going to get worse, worse, and worse to the point to where it, it's completely terrible. So, maybe let it go out with a little bit of dignity and then come back with 16 and pregnant. Whole new cast. Maybe wait. A little bit of time a year or so give everybody a break from how much they've um, uh, muddied MTV with this this content like these girls and this idea you know what I'm saying because I feel like it's a lot and I feel like it looks desperate it really does it looks desperate at this point team mom team mom Two, team mom YMP team mom family reunion uh, it's just it's a lot going on here um, but I can't say that I'm shocked to hear Mackenzie say that they called Ryan. I can't say that I'm shocked that Ryan turned it down. Um, Ryan obviously got a lot of heat for the way that he was portrayed, the way that he acted and everyone saw. Got a lot of heat for that. And no matter what, I feel like their lives probably, more than likely, is a lot, uh, has a lot less drama in it now because they're no longer on the show. But I did read, I also did read, that um, Mackenzie and Ryan, obviously going from making like $500,000 a year to not making that anymore and having to get nine to five jobs, they are not making the income that they obviously were used to at one point and that financially they're not that well off. And Mackenzie actually just started like this subscription thing on her Instagram. I didn't even know you could do this, but apparently you can start have like a subscription situation on Instagram to where people can subscribe to your Instagram and they get live streams. Like, um, it's like a member stream that we do here, you know? 
and they're saying, I think it's like $14.99 maybe. Um, I think it was $14.99. Let me double check. It may have been, yeah, no, $4.99. Sorry, the price is $4.99. Uh, it would include special subscriber badge, access to exclusive content, as well as access to a subscriber group chat. So it's not any really anything different really than like a members opportunity, like um, members for here. I am leaving this up. Yeah, it, it's kind of like if you have a YouTube channel and you enable membership on YouTube. Do we do it because it generates another source of income? Sure. Um, is that why she's doing it? Because she, they need that income? That's quite possible. I mean, like I said, they went from making $500,000 a year to not making that. And that was the only jobs that they had from my understanding. They only worked on MTV. So then they had to get regular nine to five jobs. From my understanding, Ryan is a mechanic. Um, he started like his own, um, or his dreams was to start his own little mechanic shop. But he must have not have done that because she talks about them both having nine to five jobs and both of their bosses telling them if they go back on the show, they will lose their job. So I guess maybe he didn't. That didn't come to fruition. But uh, they do have nine to five jobs. Uh, the show is just desperate at this point. And like I said, I think it needs to go out with some a little bit of dignity. The girls are too entitled. I think that's an issue as well. Um, when they signed that contract uh, agreeing to let MTV film their lives, I don't think it's fair for them to, when something is happening, for them to say, quit filming, put the camera down, or I'm not going to film. Because this is also one of the reasons they wanted to film your life. When crazy things happening, when, when crazy things happen, when you're fighting with your spouse, when your kids are acting foolish, and you're like, I don't want my kid to be filmed acting foolish because I'm going to get a heat for it. That's kind of what they want. You know what I'm saying? At every turn, if every time a little bit of drama happened, if you are telling them to put the cameras down, you are also one of the reasons why the show is no longer successful. Because nobody wants to see everything when it's happy and hunky-dory. They want to see the real-life situations that happen. But a lot of the girls got way too entitled to the point to where they literally would tell their producer, shut the camera off. I'm not filming and um, that ended up, that, that did cause some issues, and some of the producers got fired for that. Um, top executives said they became too close to the cast to the point to where when the cast said stop, they would stop, and it, it cost them their jobs. So what do you guys think? Honestly, it's this cancel culture. It's this cancel culture. Yeah, what do you guys think? If they would have brought back Ryan, would you guys be more inclined to watch? I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie here. Like, a part of me wants to be like, if the, if Ryan would come back, I wouldn't watch. But um, I think I would, to be honest. If, if Ryan and McKenzie came back, I think I would watch. <laughs> Rizzo fell in wife. Rizzo's fell in wife. <laughs> Um, I think I actually would watch because I would kind of want to see what he's up to, what Mackenzie's up to, and if they address getting fired. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you. I actually curled my hair yesterday for my funerals for my for my funerals services. I y'all, I can't talk. I don't know what it is. I actually curled my hair yesterday for my uncle's funeral. Um, I think he got his act together, so I want to see. Um, I wish they would bring everyone back. Honestly, you guys, if they brought everyone back, Farah, Janelle, Ryan, Kale's not coming back, Chelsea's not coming back, but they probably don't need to bring them back. Like they, they, I mean, Kale was good, too. Like I like watching Kale because she always had something going on as well. Um, and Chelsea was one of my favorites, but she had nothing going on. There was no drama, you know. Um, and to be fair, to be honest, people like to watch something that's entertaining. And if we're just watching you sit around in your living room or eating lunch with your dad talking about nothing, it's not that entertaining, you know? 
Honestly, I don't care about the new ones. Ashley is two hours away from me. Um, I like Ashley. I do like Ashley. The cops would have to be there, right? Nobody cares about these two. <laughs> Jeez. Um, yeah. That's kind of harsh. But I will watch it if they brought Ryan back. I think I will watch it. At least for a little bit to see, like, what's up with him. Is he better? How's their marriage? Is he um, in, a, in a relationship? Is he, has he worked on his relationship with Bentley? Um, what's his reaction to the fact that they got fired and then brought back on? I want to know more about Gary and his farming. Same. I would like that. Yeah. Yes, bossy. Yep, they sure did. The chick was accused of giving her. Uh, I don't. So, it was um, Kristen. Kristen got fired. She got fired because she got too close to one of them. And when they would say quit filming, she would have them put the cameras down. Um, I, I think there was more, but Kristen is who I remember offhand. Jules, who's that? Welcome to my channel. Thank you. It's hallelujah. I know. It's a lot. Um, but yeah, honestly, if they brought back, like I said, Ryan, Janelle, and Farah, as much as I would want to be like, I'm not going to watch that because I'm not supporting a network that supports those type of people, I think it would be entertaining and I would probably watch. I literally don't even watch the season. Chelsea and Kiara are gone. They didn't even put Mackenzie, the other one, on. And excluded her from the family trip like nobody else left as good. Yeah. And, two, Mackenzie and Josh just separated. So, if they would have been filming her, that might would have been something that would have been interesting enough for viewers to watch. I don't know. You know? Here's the thing. Everybody likes, like, people like to watch a train wreck. Just is what it is. People like to watch a train wreck. You know, that's why we all like reality television. We like watching the craziness, you know, um, for the most part. But I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked that he turned it down. I'm not shocked to hear that they may be having, like, I don't want to say financial struggles. They're just not bringing in the money that they're used to making, you know. It's played out at this point. Yes. I agree. But I wanted to hop on here and tell you guys about that. I thought that was interesting. Um, and I honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of Mackenzie, but I do like the fact that she felt power in what happened. You know, she's like, I'm so happy that we were able to stand up to a network like, like stand up to a network like that and tell them, heck no. Nope, we don't want it. We don't need it. Because I do feel like networks like that, they take advantage of people. And a lot of times people don't say nothing because they are dependent upon that check. And they've got away from it now. They're not dependent upon it. They may be struggling. I don't know. Um, they may be. But they are at least in a place where um, they were able to say no. And they were able to say, like, up yours, MTV. You know what I'm saying? Like, good for you. Good for you. Because MTV is a messy company and the people that run it they don't think twice about anyone all they care about is their ratings and their money um, even though they can you know work with the same people for 10 plus years they have no loyalty to those people not at all not even secretly you know they can't say hey this is what's going on 10 years with these people um, all they care about is the money and the ratings and um, that's it you know uh, what show is it it's team mom team mom OG is Ryan still on drugs? I'm not sure, Shelby. Um, I don't know, but that's a, a part of the reason why I would, you know, want for him to return to see how he is doing. What's his relationship like with Bentley? When is it coming back on TV? So, Teen Mom 2 and Teen Mom OG, they have combined to um, Teen Mom the next chapter. And I actually, it does have a release date. Let me see. I think it does. Uh, 
Oh, thank you, Jules. Thank you so much for the super chat. Got to learn to type again with these nails. All right, let's see. Okay, so Team Mom, the next chapter, it starts September 6th at 8 p.m. Central Time. And let's see, we have Amber Portwood, who is from OG, Ashley Jones, who is from 2, Brianna DeJesus, who is from 2, Caitlin Baltiera, who is from OG, Cheyenne Floyd, OG, Jade Klein, 2, Leah Messer, 2, and Macy McKinney, who is OG. That too will be in um, the next chapter. So, last reality show I saw on MTV was The Hills, Lord. That, the remake or the first one? Because they did, they um, brought The Hills back as well. But anyways, you guys, y'all leave me y'all's thoughts in the comment section below. What do you guys think about them calling Ryan to come back? Are you guys going to watch the, um, the next chapter? I'm sure I will. I'm sure I'll watch it, see if it's any good, see if it's worth doing recaps. If you guys want me to watch it, I'm sure I probably will. Um, but yeah, you guys let me know. Do you guys wish Ryan would have accepted? Or are you glad? Are you guys glad that he didn't? Also, like I said, I'm gonna be doing a TikTok live stream here in about 45 minutes. 48, 47 minutes. I'm gonna do it at 8 p.m. Central Time. Um, so go check me out over on TikTok. Go follow me and join me in a little bit for the TikTok live. I'm going to be doing just kind of whatever you guys want to talk about. I'm down for it. If you guys got questions, that's cool with me. Um, my TikTok is in the description box below. It is also L underscore B underscore TV. So go follow me there and hang out with me in about 50, 47 minutes. Um, and yeah, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.